Hello fellow astronomers and welcome back to the planetarium. Unfortunately, I'm not here to deliver you your weekly content of astronomy. Instead, I have some bad news. Unfortunately, the video that I was planning to release this week has been delayed due to the weather. We're trying to shoot outside this week for a discussion about the solar system. However, as you've probably noticed, it's been raining a decent amount on and off, so it's been hard to find a good stretch of time throughout the days where we can film everything properly. So until we get enough clear skies to actually record that footage, I'd like to give you a short little discussion about Comet Swan. Comet Swan, for those of you that have been following the news recently, is a recently discovered comet that's passing close by planet Earth on its journey around the Sun. And it's notable because it's been just outside of the human eyesight range as it passes by planet Earth. This means that with the proper techniques and dark skies, you are able to see it without any binoculars or telescopes. However, that does mean that most of us are probably going to actually need those optical devices to properly see this comet. Now, the unfortunate thing about Comet Swan is that, well, it's not showing up in the sky for a long period of time right now, at least for us here in Alpina. Being so far north on planet Earth means that we only get about an hour each day right now to where we can see the comet, with that time getting lower each and every day as the comet approaches the sun. To observe this comet right now, you're going to need to wake up at around 4 a.m. and tilt your gaze towards the northeast between the constellation of Perseus and Triangulum. Now, these constellations may not be the easiest to find, and since the comet is pretty dim, I honestly recommend using some sort of object finder app. I personally recommend Stellarium, whether the web browser or the phone app, as they are currently tracking the comet second by second, and it can help you find it each and every day while it's visible on the northeast horizon. Again, this comet isn't very bright, and it's only visible for a short period of time before sunrise each day, and we only have about another week or so before it's completely gone from our eyesight. But if any of that sounded interesting to you, and you're up for the challenge, Make sure to take some pictures, because it's sure to be a beautiful sight. Alright everybody, that's going to cut it for this week's video. I hope you all had a great time, and don't forget to keep your eyes on the stars.